It is amazing what kind of power is at your fingertips with the Elgato Stream Deck. You can turn on and off your lights, you can change scenes as a streamer, you can open up programs, and a whole lot more. The Stream Deck is a 15 button keypad that allows you lightning fast access to almost anything on your computer right at your fingertips. These buttons aren't just buttons, they're also LCDs, which means you can put any kind of gift that you like on it. Yes, I call it a gift. You can fight me on it. That's what we're calling it. Sorry. Each button can be programmed to a task or a function. You can even create folders. That way it gives you a lot more options. You can control streaming software, open up a game. You can have it open up a web browser to a certain page. You can also do shortcuts and edits for like Adobe Premiere Pro or Photoshop. You can even do multi-action buttons as well. So let's say if you wanted to play a sound, turn on your lights and change the color. If you wanted to change a scene and change it to black and white, have it wait two seconds and then change back to your normal scene you're at, you could do that. And of course, seeing is believing. So let's dive in. All right, what's going on everyone? So we are currently at our desk, so let's dive in. All right, so first things first, what you have to do is go to elgato.com and then go on over to downloads. Once you click downloads, you just select your product. We are rocking the stream deck and then hit download. Once you have that software downloaded, then you can go ahead and start customizing your stream deck. Now, once we have that installed, we have all of our different apps over here on the right. And if you need to get any other ones that are supported, you can go ahead and go to more actions. And this is where you can download anything else. Now, looking at my screen here, we have the ability to control our lights. So our Elgato lights can go on or off and then back on. And if you want to, we can decrease the brightness. We can increase the brightness. We can set it to a certain point, make it brighter. Doesn't matter. So you can completely change around if you want to with just a few clicks of a button. Let me first, I think multi actions is really amazing. So I have a button here that's called stream time. So with this, I open up my dashboard, stream labs, Twitter, epidemic sounds, feature chat, and we use OBS, discord, and Twitch nano. So all those open up with just one press of a button. So that way, instead of clicking on every individual program, it literally just opens right up with one press of a button. And then in this folder, we have our Twitch, which is basically how I control all my stream decks. So in case I want to do a stream Raiders battle, if I want to do a clip, I could do that. So you can do a bunch of different things too. I have my BRB screen. I have a marker. So in case I'm like, this is a good moment, I need to go back and clip. So it makes streaming a lot easier and also kind of the content creation flow a lot better. So again, there's a lot of really awesome things you can do with this and you can kind of change and it's completely up to you. It's very easy to change on the fly, which is nice because instead of having to program macro buttons, you can literally just drag and drop stuff and change it as you go. Now let's go ahead and go back to the rest of the review. Wow, that was that was quite the demo. I was impressed myself. Now that we're done with the demo and we have an idea of what this thing can do, let's look at the pros and cons of this. So for the pros, it's completely customizable to the way you want it, even down to what's actually showing on the LCD at any time. You can customize every single button and even what's displayed on it or what function it has. It's also more than just a stream tool. A lot of people look at it as a streaming tool, but it also creates a lot of awesome shortcuts with multi commands built inside of it. This also has an adjustable stand, which means you can actually angle it towards you or you can just leave it laying flat on the desk. It also works with multiple programs, not just streaming software, as I said before, such as Adobe and things like that. And one thing that I actually found out that was really cool is you have the ability to import and export your settings on there. So in case someone else really likes your setting, you can actually go and export it and send it to them or vice versa. So let's talk about the cons of this device. So first off, the price of 149 can be a little bit much for someone if you're not actually utilizing it to its fullest extent and you only look at it as a scene switcher because it's a lot more than that. Then secondly is the USB cable that's actually attached to this is only about two feet long. I kind of personally wish it was a little bit longer. I also wish it was detachable as well too, but that's something I can kind of overlook for all the features that it gives you. However, before committing to this purchase, you can actually go ahead and download the mobile app for any cell phone that you have. You can actually use it for $2.99 a month or use it for $24.99 for an entire year. So for as little as $2.99, you can actually figure out if you'd be able to use this product to its fullest extent. So what's our final verdict on this product? I think down the road, it's definitely worth the investment. At $149.99, being a product that actually doesn't increase the quality of your stream. And what I mean by that is like your lighting, your camera quality, your mic quality doesn't directly impact that. However, it does make your stream run smoother and a little bit more efficient whenever you're able to switch to scenes and have less hiccups. Considering all of the ease of use and the ability to just switch scenes right at your fingertips, which definitely makes it worth the price tag, in my opinion. And that wraps it up. So if this video was helpful, please let us know in the comments below. If you like the content here, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. It really helps us out. And of course, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more streaming related content. And as always, happy streaming.